guys, welcome to Week Studio One. I'm Eileen, and today I want to show you Ellen Villa Talia Mono in Dark Sand Rooted. This is a cute bob, chin length, angled bob, tapered neckline, low density, no permatease. If you don't like permatease, this might be your wig. There is no permatease in this wig. Let me show you the back. I like these short necklines like this going into the spring and summer. This is so cute. Fits tight to your neck. Really super comfortable. Cute, cute style. Okay, let's talk about this color. Dark sand rooted. Let me get up here so you can see it. Lightish ash brown and medium honey blonde blended with dark roots. So I think that's an accurate description. Lightish ash brown. Medium honey blonde blended with dark roots. I don't think these roots are overly done. They're not overly dark as you can see. I'll let you look at the lace front here. Ellen Villa always does beautiful, beautiful lace fronts. Now what I've done to this wig, I took it out of the box. I put some uh, John Renault styling cream in my hands and I ran it through it just to give it a little texture. And that is it. That is all I've done to it. You don't even have to do that if you want a more sleek down look just let it be as it is but I like to have give mine just a little texture and I was able to do that with just a little tiny bit of styling cream super super easy this comes in 11 shades I wish there, I wish there were more shades in Ellen Villa styles because I love her wigs but this one is available in 11 shades now the specs the front is 5.5 crown 6 sides 5.5 and a nape of 1.5 Okay, I'm going to slip it off and we'll look at the inside of the cap. Okay guys, so the inside of Ellen Villa Talia Mono and Dark Sand Rooted. Beautiful, beautiful Ellen Villa Temple to Temple, 100% hand tied lace front into the left mono part, giving you those parting options all in this area. Open wefted. There's a lot of stretch in this wig, that's nice. Closed ear tabs with stays. Extended felt nape with a Velcro adjusters. Let me let you have another color, another look at dark sand rooted. The highlighting is beautiful. I think you can see it much better here. Lightish ash brown and medium honey blonde blended with dark roots. And like I said, the roots are not overdone. I think you can get a good look at that here. Very nicely done. Okay, we're back with Ellen Villa Talia Mono and Dark Sand Rooted. You know, I just think the messier you make this little wig, the better you're going to like it. Like I said, get some styling cream if you like. Put it in your hands. Work it through it. Mess it up. It's just a cute, out-of-the-box style. Easy for the spring and summer coming going forward. Really cute, cute style. Dark Sand Rooted. Pretty color. Okay guys, the pros to this wig I think are that it's very low density and no permatees. I think it's appropriate for any occasion. The cons I think is that it only fits petite to average size. So I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. If you have a much larger head, this might not work for you. And I think it has a limited color selection. But it is, it is available in 11 shades. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to check out the Wig Studio One private Facebook group, Wig and Topper Help for those with hair loss. It's a beautiful group of ladies. I think there's around 4,300 ladies in there now. We show all kinds of wigs, all colors, great wig conversation, live videos. So be sure to check us out at Wig and Topper Help for those with hair loss at Wig Studio One. And be sure to go over to Wig Studio One Dot com and see this wig and many other wigs. If you use the code Beautiful You, you can receive 30% off. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.